The arrival of a new Mercedes S-Class is always a landmark event. This isn't just the default luxury car, it's the car against which all others are judged, including the best of the best from Audi, BMW, Rolls-Royce and Bentley. Mercedes' flagship car has been a testbed for innovation ever since the first S-Class was launched in 1972. Airbags, cruise control, electronic stability control, even double glazed windows, they all made their debuts here. And now that the Maybach brand is no more, possibly because nobody apart from Simon Cowell bought one, the S-Class has become even more luxurious. This entry-level S350 diesel costs from £63,000, but you'll pay well into six figures for the full-fat AMG models. So what's new on this latest S-Class? Well, let's start with these headlights, which are made up of no less than 56 LEDs. In fact, this is the first car that doesn't use any conventional bulbs at all, just LEDs. They're super bright and they use 75% less power. Inside is where the fun really starts. Behind this strangely retro two-spoke steering wheel are two large 12.3-inch screens. This one on the right has the digital instruments, or if you're driving at night, an infrared night vision display. The one on the left covers all your infotainment functions. And like the Range Rover, there's a split view mode. So the driver can be looking at Google Maps or Street View on the sat-nav while the passenger watches a film on a DVD. Key to accessing all those functions is Mercedes Command Media System. This uses a 250 gigabyte hard drive with internet connectivity so you can stream music on the move via apps like TuneIn. There's no need to connect your phone first. If you're using your phone or tablet, the system creates a 3G Wi-Fi hotspot within the car, but 4G is promised for the future. Another benefit of having a connected car is that system updates and bug fixes can be sent directly to the car. You don't need to visit a Mercedes dealer. The first thing you notice when driving the S-Class is just how quiet it is. It's hard to believe that there's a three litre diesel engine under that bonnet. And one reason for that is the noise cancelling system that works through the speakers just like in high-tech headphones. The S350 I'm driving today sends 258 brake horsepower to its rear wheels via a seven-speed automatic gearbox. Claimed fuel economy for this long wheelbase model is 50.4 miles per gallon. Not bad for a car this size, although I'd be surprised if the car matches that figure in our more realistic tests. Click the link to read tested fuel economy data for the whole Mercedes range. If I had to pick one word to describe driving this car, it's effortless. The steering is so light that you can turn it with one finger, and the gearbox is that smooth that you can barely tell one gear from the next. Plus, there's something quite special about looking down that long bonnet and aiming the iconic three-pointed star at the horizon. If you do want a bit more feedback, switching the car into sport mode firms up the steering and the air suspension, but it still feels like a big car. It never seems to shrink around you like a Jaguar XJ. We'll stick with the comfort mode, thanks. While we're talking comfort, one of the headline options on the new S-Class is called Magic Body Control. Now this uses cameras to scan the road ahead for bumps and potholes, and then adjust the suspension accordingly. It doesn't quite offer the magic carpet smoothness that its name suggests, but it's not far off. More pampering comes from seats that can give you a hot stone massage while you drive, an in-car perfume diffuser, and, we kid you not, air conditioning that uses solar panels and GPS to detect the position of the sun and adjust the interior temperature to suit. And just look at the build quality in here. Almost everything you touch is covered in soft leather. Even the lining of the door pockets is thicker than my carpet at home. Mercedes reliability is average according to the Witch Car Survey, the largest of its kind in the UK. Click the link for detailed reliability and owner satisfaction data for hundreds of cars. 
Of course, we can't review the S-Class without mentioning safety, and I'm massively tempting fate here, but this really is a very difficult car to crash. Active Cruise Control uses radar to maintain a set distance to the car in front, hitting the brakes if necessary. And Active Lane Keeping Assist tracks the white lines on the road and corrects the steering to keep you on the right track. Combine the two and you have a car that can basically drive itself. In fact, you can actually take your hands off the steering wheel for about 10 or 15 seconds at a time. Although obviously, that's not something we particularly recommend. There's also an optional night vision system that recognises people or animals in the dark and highlights them in red on the screen. If a pedestrian steps out, it will swivel one of the headlights and flash directly at them to warn them you're about to run them over. Well, it's nice to be told first. If it does all go wrong, there are no less than 11 airbags to protect you, including airbags in the rear seat belts. I'm going to finish this review in the back seat because this is where many lucky S-Class owners will spend their time. Mercedes has really upped its game with this car. Unless you spend three times as much on a Rolls-Royce, I reckon it's without equal. The good news is that you just don't need those bigger, more expensive engines. This £65,000 S350 LSE is our pick of the range. That's still a lot of money, of course, but the S-Class was never meant to be affordable. What it is, is a showcase, and you can expect to see a lot of this exciting new technology on your family hatchback during the next few years. Click the links below to watch our full video review of the S-Class, read our guide to buying a new car, and see full lab test reviews for all the Mercedes rivals.